Chinese poetry really started off with two books. Uh, one of them is called Si Geng, which I have here. Uh, this is normally translated as the Book of Poetry, and uh, Confucius was very keen about this book. He thought these poems could purify the morals of the people of his time. And if you're interested in the origins of poetry, you should definitely take a look. One of the most fam famous poems is this, Guanzhou. It's a love poem, and it's in this book only two pages short, so you can take a look online if you're interested. And the other origin of uh, Chinese poetry came from Chaoti. Historically, this came later than the book of poetry which I just showed you. This came from the southern parts of China, and uh, these poems are notoriously hard to understand. Just to give you a feel of it, this poem, which is extremely long, is called uh, Lei Sao, written by a poet called Wat Yun, who eventually committed suicide by throwing himself in the river. But uh, yeah, just to give you a feel of it, Dai Gou Yang Ji Miu Yai Hai Dai means the king, Gou Yang is a name, Miu Yai means the descendant, so uh, I'm a descendant of this king, Gou Yang. Zhang Wang Hao Yang Ba Yang Zhang means me, Wang Hao means my great father uh, is called Ba Yang, so his father's name is called Ba Yang. And uh, normally for a average, Chi uh, Chinese, uh, average Chinese speaker, th these two lines would literally mean nothing to them because it's a very ki old kind of Chinese, so it's really hard to understand even for native Chinese speakers. So, But luckily you have all these explanations, so if you're interested you should definitely take a look. Chaozi. And uh, this, along with this, influenced uh, classical Chinese literature for the 2000 years to come. So if you're interested, you should definitely take a look. So uh, I'll see you again next time, and uh, bye.